So right on the lakes again. Um, it's been a while since the Fairfield Horseshoe, I think we did a week ago. So this is going to be the Newlands Horseshoe. Uh, I've done it before, um, but I did uh, the Newlands Watershed, which included a few more Wainwrights than today's route. I think it's like five or six Wainwrights, maybe. Um, so we're heading up to probably Cat Bells first, which I think is behind us there. Parked in Little Town. Working our way up. I expected cloud actually all morning, but there's not a cloud in the sky. So, absolutely perfect. So, yeah, we'll get going up to Cat Bells and then, uh, yeah, on with the route. Making our way up to uh, Cat Bells from the other side. Last time I came here, I came up the other side. Um, didn't see any of this. Didn't even realise that the water was down there. This was just covered in clouds. So I'm, uh, I'm happy that we've got some good weather and I can finally see the good views. So uh, we're going up to Cat Bells. Seems quite busy at the top there. And then back down this way and back up to Maidenmore, which is just behind us here. So yeah, it's a good day for it. Just got to the top of uh, Cat Bells. The last time I was here, I didn't see any of this view because it was just cloud everywhere. So I can't quite believe the uh, how far you can see. So you got uh, the water there behind us, and then Bassentwaite Lake in the distance over here. Yeah, beautiful, great day. Is this all that you dreamed it? up here and in up with me well, you could have gone anywhere been anyone well, you stole my heart like a thief on the run you're not much for taking chances but you We're still walking up to Maidenmore from Cat Bells. Uh, we stopped for a little while to get the drone out. It's getting quite hot, but um, when you stop, you cool down pretty quickly. So we're going to carry on till Maidenmore. Um, and I think it's round to High Spy, Dale Head. So we'll probably catch some lunch um, on one of the tops when we get there. Just got to Dalehead Tarn and we're gonna have some food here and then make our way up to Dalehead which is just up there. There's like a little space here for a, for a camping spot, wild camp if anyone's uh, wanting to have a good spot here. It's all, it's all like uh, stoned off overlooking the tarn. I'm sure it's sheltered as well against the wind if it's bad conditions.
amount of practice with these uh, these hills. It's harder than it looks. Come on. Gonna stop at the top and uh, hopefully get the drone out, although I don't like getting it out when there's too many people there because it's not exactly quiet. Just left the top of uh, Dale Head. Got pretty cold up there. Rochelle's full on Arctic kitted up there. Um, I've just got moving again, so we can see bottom here. Just down there, got a fleet with Pike leading up here. Um, so, yeah, it's going well. I think we're going around to, um, going around to Hinscarf next, and then probably over to, uh, probably over to Robinson. But we're undecided yet, we'll see what it's like when we get around to Hinscar, see what the uh, the time is and then probably we'll go to Robinson, there's plenty of time left. It's only about half one so yeah, still some great views down there. Into the valley. Still making our way up to Robinson. I think I was getting a bit sunburnt, so I popped the pop that on. Um, that's the last big climb of the day, I think. And we're all downhill to the car, thank God. So yeah, that was that was tough. Especially I'm carrying the bag. She has got nothing. Um, so yeah, head up to Robinson. Maybe stop for a bit, get the drone out, and then, uh, yeah, head back to the car.
So we're just leaving the path now to come down towards the valley and then walk along the valley back to the uh, back to the car. But um, that there up there was quite a steep climb down from the top of Robinson there. But we made it. It was good. It was like a little uh, little sort of dam down below here with a little reservoir. Kind of want to go in for a dip, but I think it'll just be. I've not got any towel or anything, so. Um, save it till next time. We'll save it till next time. I'm a bit thirsty. Hopefully, we can stop for a a pint or two, or at one pint in uh, in a pub somewhere close by. Ending up here, ending up with me. You could have gone anywhere, been anyone. You stole my heart like a thief on the run. You're not much for taking chances, but you're taking a chance on me. Just been in. That was freezing, absolutely freezing. Um, yeah, I don't think I'll be. Uh, <laughs> on fact, I'm probably going to go in again. It was. <laughs> it's, it's cold when you're in there, but once you get out, it's actually quite warm. You sort of um, body feels warmed up. So, yeah, let's do it again. So I'll stay here with you for the rest of my. Well, I said I wasn't going to go in, but I ended up going in. Last minute decision. Glad I didn't know. It was absolutely freezing. Uh, went in a few times. Hopefully I can uh, keep on doing them on some walks if I come across some bodies of water. Bring a towel on me next time. So I have to like drip drying, get the sun to heat me up a bit. But yeah, it was good. Good fun. I'm trying 